flash drive, uh, while I'm hanging out with black guys. Black guys. Tied down on my ball sack, took it off on my coat rack, uh, uh, elbows up my back, <laughs> while she's stretching out my dick hole, uh, uh. How hard I stretch my dick hole, how bad it smells like pickle. How hard I stretch my dick hole, how bad it smells like pickle. All right, socks are awesome. They get wet. Change your socks. If you cannot change your socks, go barefoot. But change your shoes because they will get so smelly and sticky and gross. So I'm gonna go socks as much as possible if you can change them as, as frequently as you need to, which is every day. Breaking Bad, I have not seen Game of Thrones yet. Don't kill me, but um, I'm already re-watching Breaking Bad. I've seen the whole series and I'm doing it with my mom. And my mom is very, <laughs> very innocent. And she doesn't quite know how to handle how intense it is and that's kind of my favorite part about it um, but it's an intense show once you get past the first season it's just you can't stop watching it it's so fun gone with the disappointed father <laughs> <laughs> Before, not sponsored <laughs> <laughs> should be though go. Oh. hi i'm crywank Welcome to How to Play, <laughs> How to Play Guitar with Crywank. Here's the first song for teaching. It's Welcome to Castle Irwell. Really easy. And okay, hey, we'll just edit. We can, we can edit. You can edit this out. <laughs> and you, you can even edit this. I'm out not going edit to edit this in. out. Why not? I'm yeah. gonna keep all of this. No, but you can. You can. That's fine. But you know, let's get back to it. Oh no, we, like I say, we can cut and chop. Or is, is it? Is it better if you don't cut and chop? My mum used to always reiterate how grateful she was to have boys because girls always make her feel old. Um, and I don't, don't know why, but she just always tell me that. <laughs> Not entirely sure where it came from, who designed it, what they were thinking, but it's just a t-shirt that says homosexuality is a sin and then lists the Bible verse underneath it. I feel like this top would go really hard cropped. So he thinks his daughter is gonna be gay because she really likes breast milk. She just can't resist a tit. She just sees a tit and she goes crazy. Which to be fair, I've seen a lot of babies do that. Oh my god. Imagine, imagine, imagine you just gave birth. You just carried a baby for nine months. You got the backache. You got the morning sickness. You got all the hormones that make you feel like <laughs> And then, you have the baby, everything's going well, and you, what makes it better is that your child really wants to breastfeed, your child really wants food, your child really wants to grow, and your husband gets pissed off at you for breastfeeding your child. Long before time had a name. What happened was, I were, uh, I can't remember what was it was at, so they start reading out this award, like, for the best band the world has ever seen, or some stupid award like that, and they were going, yeah, they've done it all, they've been there, they've been back, they've been to the moon, they've done it all. And I was sitting there going, if they say you two, I'm gonna fuck, I'm gonna scream. You two, everyone's like, rah, like that. And uh, everyone was standing up and my dad goes to stand up, right? Cause I was with my dad, so, like I might take my dad to stuff like that. And cause there was a standing ovation, my dad went to stand up. I went shit broke down like that, grabbing my dad, putting him back down. Anyway, anyway, right? so Bono goes up and he starts reading this like a speech, but it's like a poem. Like they've called my uncle Bono, you know, you're gonna get like the best band the world has ever seen award. Uh, just let you know. And he's gone, oh Roy, I've got to write a speech or whatever. He's like written this poem. And I'm like, and everyone's like, oh Bono, wow. You know? So why why are you self critical of your performance? It was a piece of shit. You look fit though. <laughs> I've always lived in the same house on York Road in Dartford. Even now, after all that's happened, and all I know about what went on there, I can't bring myself to leave. As far as I know, the shed came with the house. It always sat in the garden, old, wooden and silent. I don't recall it being used until after the night my mother disappeared. That's when everything started to get strange. Tim was with me and my leg slowed me down. He must have taken a turn we didn't see or something. We lost him. But Tim has managed to find what looks to be an actual trap door, so we won't need to bludgeon our way through any more drywall. Fuck you bitch and chick fil -A on a mind. He does seem keen for us to hang out more. Don't really get it. Like we have loads of sex. So why do you want to complicate things? Stupid. Anyway, I don't do boyfriends. You know in rom coms when the guy finally realizes he's in love with a girl? And he turns up with a boombox outside a house, blasting a favourite song and everyone in the audience swoons. Yeah, that makes me sick. <laughs> Shut up! The pair of you! My sister is missing, this is not an opportunity for you to swing your dicks around! So I don't think you should, because you just make things worse. Ever since you stopped doing the clinic, you stopped caring about anyone but yourself. I think you should go. I don't want to see you anymore. I'm farting! Oh. Farting's funny. Sarah Jane, I've done something really stupid. A really bad social mistake. I told the Slatheen how to destroy the world. At breakfast times, I am so hungry, I could murder a bowl of cornflakes. Does that make me a serial killer? I kept making social mistakes today. It makes me feel stupid. No one else can say that. 
That's the problem. Nobody else is like me. Sometimes it feels like I'll never fit into this world. When I made a joke about Lance's name, it felt like, like a breakthrough because people laughed. But instead, it was another social miscalculation. Is that a good shot? Too late, you go, go. Welcome to the city tower. You can get great views. We have a nice little cafe. You can also get a half gallon of milk. It looks like Nick is so in love with you. It's a bit unbearable to watch sometimes. But eventually, you stop caring about all those people. Uh, she said she was coming to our school prom tonight. Uh, but she didn't show up and been replying to my messages. Is she okay? Yeah, go get Marvin. See if Marvin can make a banana split for me, you fucking cunt. Bye, Marvin! Try. <laughs> fucking drive! Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Stop quoting yourself. Will we go to prison if you hand ourselves in? A juvenile, whatever, will we? So these are cool as hell. These are some little Edsworld cutout thingies, and I love these. Even though I'm not a part of Edsworld anymore, I obviously still uh, hold it in very, very high regard. And one thing I really love that the Edsworld fandom did is it kind of just decided at some point that Tom is just like kind of black and has loads of piercings, and I think that's great. Good question. Mine would have been Jumanji. Because I loved that movie so much growing yeah. up, so much. But okay, I can't choose that one because we did it. It wasn't <laughs> my favorite scene. It's just my favorite story to tell. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot, my favorite. That's so cool. I had a really good time playing that game. I love that game. My play's not now. I need to look something up on the internet. I'll just do it, will you? Oh, you complete. This is not you. This is 1913. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but I've got to snap you out of this. You just get bored of us one day and disappear. Oh, she was blonde! Oh, what a surprise! That's not to say Moffat is not a feminist. He definitely thinks of himself as feminist, at least. As he once said, I'm certainly no proselytizer for docile women, this heavily subscribed to myth. I don't know where it came from. I think what's happened here is that he's completely misunderstood why people think he's a misogynist. I guess this is like celebrating the new Panic album because... Oh my god, it's so good! Have you listened to it? What's your favourite? What's my favourite? I like Victorious a lot. Tonight we are Victoria. Sorry. I actually saw Panic Live in January and it was super great. You know, you're always calling people cunts or twats, but I just, I never really got how that's an insult. They're flexible, take a pounding, and they're the reason behind like 98% of my life decisions. The most NSFW with me is like my humor. You've heard my humor. Like you've definitely heard my humor. Everyone has heard my humor. And I don't want to expose people to that that like aren't at least 18. Can I get in for two seconds, please, without getting a fucking bonk to the head? Hey Mike, you say taxi driver. You relate to it, sort of thing. Do you understand? You could be Cardiff's answer to Travis Bickle on a timer waiting to explode. Can you fucking believe that? I mean, can you imagine doing that? Imagine doing a Travis. We fucking hell. Fucking good film night, mate, isn't it? Eh? If you're stoned, do you ever get a really relaxed arse on? Because the other day I was doing a bong with Kyle and I literally thought I was going to shit myself. You always ruin everything. Go home. And like last week I got chased by a fox and Kyle threw a shoe at it. It was so romantic. That he was a diagnosed sociopath. Uh, that's what it told me. Now, obviously, if you don't know what a sociopath is, the basics are he just can't feel <laughs> human emotion. Oh, shit. And I always groom, and I always groom little kids. What up, the? I looked up to my delight. They were having a special on chalupas. My chalupa, my chalupa. Bye, Chalou. Bye, Chalou. Bye, Chalou.